Hi, guys. Um, I thought I'd read you some stories today. I couldn't find my angel book. I don't know. Um, I got more than one. I was trying to find a different one, and I don't know where I, what I did with it. But I found this good old book again. More holy humor. And I found a category called, um, I'm not lying, look. Funeral humor. I don't know if this is going to be funny or not, but um, I might try to read some and see. I haven't read any of these yet, by the way. As he preached a funeral service about the resurrection one afternoon, the minister couldn't help to find a stopping place. The funeral director grew concerned about the time and stepped over a church member. Does your pastor always speak this long at funerals, he whispered. That's a fine sermon, isn't it, the gentleman replied, nodding. Somewhat embarrassed, the funeral director agreed, but he continued to look at his watch every few minutes. After a while, the church member tugged at his sleeves. What's the matter, he demanded. Don't you believe in the resurrection? I sure do, the funeral director answered, but I'm afraid we won't get this man buried in time for it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> and these ones are... Um, <laughs> Tombstone humor. This is, these are supposed to be real, by the way. The first tombstone says, Remember man who passes by, As you are now, so once was I. And as I am now, so must you be. Prepare yourself to follow me. Beneath that, someone living wrote on his tombstone, to follow you, I'm not content until I learn which way you went. To heaven or to hell. When an elderly spinster died, her family could not come up with a suitable thing to put on her gravestone until one of the family remembered that a cousin was a sports writer and asked him to compose the inscription. He wrote, here lie the bones of Mary Jones, her life it knew no terrors, born an old maid, died an old maid, no runs, no hits, no errors. Poor Mary Jones. <laughs> okay. On the gravestone of the Archbishop Potter, a lack and well a day, Potter himself is turned to clay. <laughs> that just sounds cruel. I, I... Here lie the bones of Alfred Jones, when from the tomb to meet his doom he rises amidst sinners. Take him to dwell in heaven or hell, whichever serves big dinners. I don't think hell's going to serve any dinner, so we better hope he went to heaven. <clears throat> Here lies the body of Mary Gwynne, who was so very pure within. She cracked the shell of her earthly skin and hatched herself a cherubim. On the gravestone of a 19th century quack doctor. Reader, Dr. Johnson, is alas no more. He visits those he vid visited before. Seven wives I've buried with as many a fervent prayer. If we all should meet in heaven, won't there be trouble there? Here lies the preacher, judge, and poet Peter, who broke the laws of God and man and meter. Matilda Graham has gone to rest. She now reclines on Abraham's breast. Peace at last for Matilda Graham, but not for Father Abraham. On the gravestone of a Walmart shopper. Gone 
two Walmarts. Let's see here. I think that's all the tombstone ones. Okay, yep. That's all the tombstone ones. So, I'm going to read this one real quick and then I'm going to stop because the video is over five minutes. It's called Eve and I. When I get to heaven, I'm going to look for Eve. I have one major question that really makes me grieve. I want to ask that woman exactly why she ate. Forbidden fruit from Satan. Was she too hungry to wait? It seems that God provided food beyond belief. So what in the world made her listen to the words of a liar thief? When the tempter first started speaking, I think, my dearest madam, if you had only said to him, let me check this out with Adam, we women would have peace and quiet instead of receiving the blame for every sinful action that takes place on the human plane. I'm really upset with this female, and I'd like to tell her so, but I must admit I'm so like her as off to the candy store I go. Whatever. <laughs> She's going to the candy store. So, bring us back some candy, please. So, I just wanted to give you guys some stories tonight. Why well, I felt halfway decent. So, hope you guys have a good night. And hope you like the stories. Love you guys. Bye.